God wants you to always move forward in life. The love of the Lord for your life is always to give you the good things of life. The Lord intends to lead you towards a progressive life that will always take you into your destiny and success. You are a child of God. God is your father. There are some traits of a father that must always be reflected in the life of a child. You have to know that God does not fail and he is always gaining victory over every challenge that comes his way. You have to know that God is always going progressively towards achieving his will and his purpose. That is his heart's desire. That same trait is supposed to always be in you and also show forth in your life. Your Father, the Almighty God, is unstoppable and therefore you are unstoppable because you are born of God. Your eyes must be open to these things that God does not allow anything to stop him from winning or achieving his aims and objective. No matter how strong and powerful the challenge tend to pose itself, God is always stronger and more powerful than anything in heaven, on earth and under the earth. This is to show you the nature of God is to always see that his children and everything that he cares for are always moving forward. Sometimes you may fall, you fail, and you will not have the desire to move on with your life. Your fall is not wrong, but when you remain on the ground, that is when it is wrong for you. Do you not know that falling is not only for its negative effect? Most times when God allows you to fall from the top or get to the ground, it is a means of rebuilding you into a better person. Sometimes when everything is good, you may not understand the power of the pain. There is power in scars. There is power in injuries, especially when it is meant to teach you wisdom. So when you refuse to move on because of the loss of a treasured element that has left you, it could be your loved one, very close friend, your partner, or somebody of importance to your life. And because of that, you have not been able to carry on with your life. You have allowed the event of life to hold you back on the ground. While God is always telling you to move forward, let go of the experiences that have brought you back on the ground and move on. You have allowed the memories of your loss to hold you back from doing new things about your life. That will not help you. That will not take you anywhere. Staying back and not doing anything to move on with your life will not solve any problem for you. Rather, it will make you lose it and not fulfill your purpose and your dreams. God is interested in you. Though you may have failed many times, your business and your job may have failed many times, but God is telling you to get up, pick yourself up and move on from the point to the place he wants to take you to. There is a place God is taking you to. You are on a journey with God on your destiny. Though the road may not be smooth and sweet, you have to know that you are with the Lord and he will always preserve you and watch over you. You don't have any reason to quit your dreams. You don't have any reason to back out from your pursuit now. 
everything is working for your good if you believe that it is so. Some people have filled your life and your experience that God wants you to leave out of your life and move on. They could be toxic and bad for your life, especially when God is about to bless you. There are some people God wants you to let go in your life by all means and with every power and strength. And when you are not doing this or when you are doubting if what you're hearing is true or false, God will begin to give you signs and show you some signs. Because of the love God has for you, there are some things God will do when he wants you to move on from some people. You are going to see the five things God is going to do when he wants you to move on from some people. One, God changes your location. The truth is that somebody's destiny is tied to location. There are some people that where they are is not where they are supposed to be. There's a place for everybody to be. It could be that your friends or relatives are the reason you have not located or decided to change that location to your place of exploits. And the time for your life has come because God has already released the blessing for you but the people in your life are the reason you have not done that. God will bring up events that will make you change your location and become far from the people that are distracting you. Sometimes where you are is not allowing you to focus on your dream. Most times, the environment you have found yourself may be toxic to you and may be the reason you are not living into your full potential. When this is happening, God will change your location. When God wants you to do something for him and the people in your life are the reason you are not concentrating God will have to take you away from them for you to focus on the will of the Lord and receive the blessings. Two, there will be conflict. Sometimes you must understand that most conflict or crisis are not meant to destroy things, but rather whenever any relationship is taking the wrong position or giving the wrong influence in your life. God tends to bring up conflicts to make you understand your stand or probably move out of a relationship. In issues like this, you have to work with conviction whenever you are taking a step or making a decision because you must know the content of what God is about to do for you so that you will not move in ignorance or regret. When God wants you to leave that relationship, that business partnership or your relative, perhaps to transform your life, he brings up some crisis. And when the end is achieved, you will see that the dust will settle. You have moved on and learned your lesson. Abraham and Lot, their herdsmen began to have clashes among themselves. Little will anybody know that it is God that wants to part Lot and Abraham so that he can fully commit his promises and his blessings to Abraham because Abraham is the one he is walking and working with at the time. Genesis 13 verse 14 And the Lord said unto Abraham, After that Lot was separated from him, lift now your eyes and look from the place where you are northward and southward and eastward and westward. 
Genesis 13 verse 15 for all the land which you see to you will I give it and to your seed forever three God keeps the two parties busy you will see that when the friendship between people is about to end and God wants them to move on they will become too busy remember Everything that happens on earth, God is always aware of. God is on a move to actualize his divine purpose. And when you are the vessel God is using, you will always have the divine direction and instructions from the Lord. You become busy, not because there are lots of things you are doing, or you are too busy that you cannot make out time to visit or call your friend. But you will realize that you will want to do this, but things may always interrupt your action. And when you will realize yourself, it has been long weeks and months that you have not reached out to your friends or the people around you. You have to know this, that as a Christian and a devoted child of God, your life is a very great concern to God. When you have people in your life that are not helping you to grow in your faith, in your Christian life, and it is becoming seriously dangerous to you, if they are not praying for you, motivating you, standing by you and giving you the support. God wants to separate you from them. It might be joblessness that has always fostered your relationship with them and they visit you and distract you. God will keep them busy, give them a job to keep them away. God could bless their ideas and make them too busy from distracting you. The pursuit of the Lord is more important than the breakthrough that will come to their lives. 4. God sends you on a mission. The Almighty God is sovereign and He does anything at His own will and time. When the pressure from the wrong people in your life becomes too much that their influence in your life is becoming too wrong, most times, God gives you an assignment. When you become born again in God and you have our Lord Jesus to be the Lord of your life, what happens is that you give the whole of your life to God and from then, He is always concerned about your life, cares for your growth in the faith and your success. Whenever anything will cause distractions to your life, God does everything to stop it. When the wrong people are in your life, God does everything to take them away from your life. And one of the things God will do is to send you on a mission outside their view or reach. Everything God does is to protect you from the wrong people, from the wrong information, from the wrong life. Because with these things around your life, the devil could have an edge in your life. That is the reason God is jealously guarding your life. Five, God speaks to you. Every attempt of the Lord is to make you a star and bless you as your journey with him to accomplish his divine purpose on earth. When God wants you to move on from the wrong people in your life, he will speak to you. You have the Holy Spirit in you. God speaks to you through the Holy Spirit. Some other times, God speaks to you through the words from the Bible. There are lots of words and ways God speaks to you in His Word. When you listen to the words of the Lord, when you read the words of the Lord, always acknowledge the words that have been spoken 
to you. And these are the ways God will take to get you out from the wrong association you are with wrong people.